In this video, I'm going over part two of the switching to Manjaro series, and I'm switching things up a little bit on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of the issues I've had, but also resolve those issues in this one. So how is it going as far as part two, about day three here in Manjaro, uh, and it's, going okay it's having a couple issues it seems like i have more issues in manjaro than i did in arch uh there i think that's just because manjaro configures a lot more with the os but since i'm going to be on this for a bit longer than 10 days or quite a bit longer hopefully um i wanted to fix a lot of the problems i was having and make it to where it's permanent and works great so maybe you guys are having these issues and you might even have different solutions than me which is great more solutions the better uh the very first thing i noticed in manjaro was my monitors uh it seemed like every time i set them they'd reset on boot and i just couldn't get this to stick uh i ended up just saying forget it and took that privilege away from kde and put it all in xorg so i made uh, an XOR comp, uh, comp file that specifically put my monitors in and ranged them exactly how I wanted them so there was no configuration to be done. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and do a little cutover so you guys can see that on the screen here. Okay, to show you the very first tweak here, I want to pull up my XOR 10 monitor comp. So if we go into here, you can kind of see how it's displayed. And I'll go ahead and zoom in on the top left section here. Now, this basically goes ahead and rearranges my monitor to put my display port on the bottom and then my HDMI monitor on top. And then I go ahead and position these. So it may look a little nonsensical when you first think about it, but as you position these, you can actually push this down below which you'd want it to start at 1080 since the top monitor is a 1080 diagram but uh, most people wouldn't need this they would put left of instead of the below or right of instead of above you know those types of things and you would actually position these completely differently from here but this is just an up and down configuration which there's just none of these examples online so the second issue that I've had with Manjaro is it was locking up after I put it in hibernation or suspend or if I walked away from the computer for a long period of time and it did either of those things together. And I was also noticing a little error on reboot, uh, which was causing some issues. Now, uh, I initially thought maybe it was a swap file, but my swap file has plenty of space. And I ended up just saying, hey, forget it. I'm just going to disable these features. And to do that, I had to modify um, a comp file and then do a rebuild of these modules for the kernel. And, uh, you know, I want to show that real fast as well, just so you can kind of see exactly what I did if you're having this issue. The next tweak I'm going into is disabling hibernation or suspend. These are kind of important because Manjaro kept locking up. So what I thought, I looked up all the th solutions online and the MK init uh, CPIO dot configuration needed this modification. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it up here and kind of show you that. So this is what the stock uh, config file looks like. And if you come down to hooks, down here towards the bottom, uh, it would actually have resume right in here. And all I did was delete this resume and then just uh, save this file and exit. And then all I needed to do from that point is rebuild the mkinit CPIO. So to do that, you just do sudo mkinit CPIO dash uppercase P. And then when you hit enter here, it would rebuild these modules uh, for the kernel and disable the hibernation suspend feature. That way you don't ha have those error messages. And I kind of what turned me on to this was when I go to reboot my computer or put something, put my computer in suspend mode, I'd see a little error about that. And after doing this, that error went away. So some of the other issues that I'm having, uh, not necessarily an issue on this one, just more of a nitpick thing. Uh, Octopi is the package or the GUI package installer that comes by default with Manjaro. I 
don't like it at all. I think it sucks. Uh, so I went ahead, ripped it out, and put Pomac or just uh, Package Manager. I guess that's what it's called. Uh, but P A M A C is the actual package. I install that, and then I can easily install my AURs and the regular ones. And it's just a better interface. It's far more intuitive. Uh, Octopi for Manjaro, I think, kind of sucks. Uh, it just does. Uh, so use Palmac if you're a Manjaro user, uh, you'll like it way better. And then kind of my last thing was I was running into some slow downloads and the downloads when I'm slowly downloading on when I'm getting these packages, that stinks. And one of the big things is rearranging the mirrors. Now when I did my install, which you'll see tomorrow on the Manjaro install video that I'm doing, uh, you'll notice I'm already ranking a lot of my downloaders. Well, that did not actually take, and it, it overwrote, I guess, somewhere in the install uh, that, that mirror file I created during the installation and uh, put the default back in there. So I went ahead and redid this, and I'm going to go ahead and put just kind of below here uh, what command you need to run basically what this does is it overwrites that mirrors file with the th top three and limits it to the united states which is where i'm at but you can easily take united states out and put your country in and it would redo the mirror file for you and rank them by speed which drastically increases your download speed and querying speed so there's not that long lag or ping time so uh, pro tip definitely do that if you're running into hey this should download faster but it's not. So other than those four issues, what else? What are my general thoughts on what's going on with Manjaro? How is it working for me? Uh, as expected, it's, it's an Arch-based install. I don't know if I like it better than Vanilla Arch. I probably don't, but that's okay. I think it's a great distribution for those wanting to get into Arch but don't know a whole lot about computers. I think Manjaro really simplifies a lot of things. Even their architect version of the installer, I found to be very simplistic and something that you could follow along in. And uh, I went ahead and created a guide for my patrons on that. Uh, the guide ended up being a lot more detailed than I anticipated and ended up running over 3,000 words with a whole bunch of GUI uh, based graphics to go along with everything I was doing and explaining. And I ended up looking back on it. I was like, wow, this is 20 something pages of an install guide and it met all the requirements to actually be published. So I went ahead and took that guide and published it on Amazon. So if you want to get a jump start on tomorrow, you can go ahead and click the Amazon link. I only put it at 99 cents because that's the cheapest option Amazon had to host it. So with all that said, uh, I really am enjoying my time here in Manjaro. Please don't take these criticisms or these minor annoyances uh, as anything other than just that. Many distributions have these and it's not so much the distribution, it's basically coming to the solutions that you need to fix your problems and that can be done in any version of Linux, not just Manjaro. But the Manjaro flavor, I think, is very, very good for newcomers into uh, the Linux space. I really enjoy having access to the AUR again, uh, being able to build packages on the fly. Uh, just wonderful, wonderful experience. Uh, other than the Octopi and switching over to Pomac, which, you know, like I said, that's just a personal preference thing. Octopi would work just, just fine. But I've rambled on long enough in this video so i'm gonna go ahead and end it here and just say thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video